you told me And I believe it I ain't never had nobody do me like you Now I done been with different kind of girls Feel like I done seen them all But ain't none of them at all Like you And I done seen the best of the best Baby, still I ain't impressed Cause ain't none of them at all Like you if I'm seen with a girl, then she gotta be just like you And baby, that's the way I feel And I got no choice but for me to keep it real Cause when we first got together, started hanging out You was skeptical at first, had to figure out If I was the kind of guy to try to dog you out But I ain't that kind of guy, you try to make me out You found out when you turned to my baby them other brothers how to treat a lady I let you drive when I ride that Mercedes And I ain't tripping or acting shady Cause baby, you know I ain't never had nobody show me all the things that you done show me In a special way I feel when you hold me We don't always be together, baby That's what she told me And I believe it Cause I ain't never had nobody do me like you Hit the mall, pop tags, been a few G's in Hit the runway to a new season Ain't nothing to spoil the one I care for Feel like I ain't doing enough That's when I share more I give you this, give you that What you need, love You know I gotta holler at me if you need love In affection Cause I be your protection Kinda hard job, but I do it to perfection And you can tell that I ain't tryna let you go I get with you when I can So that's how I let you know and you be tripping, cause sometimes I gotta go But you the first one I holler to Right after my shows And I was tripping in a sense I was tense, but my body don't surround you But I'ma do without you I'm on my way to work right now Hopefully y'all can hear me pretty good Because it's raining um, I don't know if you can tell Looking at the window But yeah, it, the weather is it's not cute. <laughs> um, I have been, I don't know, this, this morning just felt, I really hope you can still hear me, but this morning has felt so different. Like I feel inspired, passionate even, and that's not something I typically experience. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't find passion in things very easily. And I am so grateful for the fact that I did Vlogmas because had I not done that, I would not be feeling this way. But I literally woke up this morning thinking about my channel, like thinking about the videos I'm editing right now, the video I'm in the middle of filming right now. I was excited that I have the opportunity to talk to the camera today. Like, and it's just so, I don't know, it's weird, but it's good weird. Like. <laughs> I am really enjoying this feeling. Like I even had, to, I journaled about it. Like, and I filmed my office or the organization video yesterday. So I started editing, editing it. Like I rough edited. I'm, it's hard for me to say that in any other tense than present. Edit, edited. I edited it, edited it. Yeah. <laughs> rough edited it last night. And uh, because I was, I filmed the office organization in the office and then I started editing in the office. So I didn't really have that moment of walking out and coming back in and like seeing what I had done. So when I left my office, I went and made dinner, sat on the couch and then I went to go back in there and my entire body felt different. Like everything felt different in there. It just felt like it felt like a whole new room. Like I felt like I wasn't in my office anymore, even though it was my office. It just felt more like an office, I guess. Like it was, it's organized, it's clean. I have whiteboards now, like there's stuff on the walls, not much, but stuff on the walls. And I'm not even done with it yet. And I already feel this way. So I can't imagine what it's gonna be like when I actually finish it and have everything in there that that I'm envisioning but it's it's a surreal feeling like <laughs> everything just feels so aligned and and like I'm just in the right direction doing the right thing and I, I, don't, I won't say I don't have a goal I think my, I'm gonna set a goal for the number of videos I want to post this year 
But other than that, I don't think I have any other goals other than the ones that YouTube itself has given me for monetization. But that that's really it. I don't have a specific goal in mind. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. Life, life is life is life, and, and that can be good or bad. Right now, it's good. <laughs> I have like 20 minutes before I get to work, and it's raining pretty bad. So I'm gonna let y'all go. Maybe I'll see y'all on lunch or something. Is it lazy of me that I'm sitting here in the Target parking lot waiting for my drive-up order to be ready? Like, I could just cancel the order and go in and get the stuff. But, like, I placed the order before I left work. I placed the order at, like, 341. It is currently 508. And I think it usually takes, it says it takes, like, two hours. But I've never had to wait that long for a Target pickup order. And it still says processing. And I've been sitting here for almost 20 minutes. Is it lazy of me to keep waiting? Like, what if it never, what if it never finishes processing? And then I just wasted my time sitting here when I could have just went in and got the stuff and then came back out in the same amount of time or less that I've been sitting here. But also, I don't want to go in because I don't want to spend any unnecessary money. Like, I just want them to bring... And I'm getting heavy stuff. I'm getting water. I didn't want to have to carry that. I wanted them to just put it in the car so I can just carry it in the house. <sighs> I'm gonna keep sitting here. I don't know how much longer, but I'm gonna keep sitting. Hopefully in the next like 10 minutes, my order will be ready, but I want I just wanna go home. <laughs> just wanna go home and drink the water I'm buying. <laughs> Bag secured, didn't have to get out of the car, but it has been about 20 minutes since I last spoke to y'all. I waited like 12 more minutes for them to tell me my order was ready. And then when I actually pulled into the pickup spot, I probably waited about uh, probably about 10 more minutes <laughs> but I didn't have to get out of the car didn't spend any extra money and got everything I needed so I'm pleased but this parking lot is far too busy for my nerves so let's let's go home I'm home now I just took my garbage out it is ridiculous how much and how quickly garbage accumulates um, I just, uh, took everything out of the bags that I got for my pickup order. I really didn't get very much and it was all very practical. So I mentioned in the car that I got water. Usually buy, I buy like cases of water, but I'm going to try something different and just get the gallon. And then, cause I don't drink out of the bottles. I use the bottles to fill the cup. I don't know. I don't have it in here. It's in my bedroom, but the cup I usually drink out of, I just fill that with bottled water. Um, so we're just, I'm going to try this for now. The only drawback I see to it is that when I have guests, I don't have bottles of water to offer them. I'd have to give them a glass or have like plastic cups on hand. But then I also had to re-up on mouthwash, Target brand, you know, the dupe for Listerine. And then I needed to re-up on my moisturizer. This is actually the Target brand dupe for the Neutrogena oil-free facial moisturizer. I think it says it. Does it? Will it focus? Will it focus? Uh, come on. Eh, eh. There it is compared to Neutrogena oil-free facial moisturizer. And I actually do use both. Like I alternate between the two, whichever one is available. This one I will say is half the price. Um, but this is the one I'm currently on, which is actually the Neutrogena one. And it is literally scrape in the bottom so I had to re-up I think I'm gonna wash my dishes I'm so hot from taking out look at that I'm sweating it's because my hair is on my forehead um <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna wash my dishes and then probably call my mother that'll probably be a theme in these vlogs is me calling my mother because we talk every day so I'm gonna call my mother and then probably edit because I want to finish editing the video I filmed yesterday, my office organization and stuff, so that can go up in the morning. But yeah, I don't know if y'all see me again tonight, so I might probably I'll probably check in with y'all tomorrow. I know this is so random, 
to just pop on the camera looking like this. But I just tested the, well, not tested. I'm using um, those eye patches that came in that gift set, the Bliss skincare gift set that I got from Walmart uh, during that after Christmas sale. And are these not the cutest under eye patches you've ever seen? I feel like a, a fairy going to a rave. I don't know. Like, I just thought these were so cute. I felt like you needed to see them. Um, I don't, I'm sure they sell these separately, like where you could get them outside of the gift package or the gift set. Um, they're the I Got This Holographic Foil Eye, eye Mask. Um, it says Deep Puffs and Brightens. And there's, yeah, two single use eye masks. So this is what the package looks like. I already ripped it open, but even the packaging is pretty, but like I was not expecting this. I know it said holographic and now that makes me really uh, excited to see what this looks like. Cause I'm assuming it's probably gonna look similar. Oh, well there's this picture of the shape right here. So the whole thing foil, I don't know, but I'm excited to see what this looks like, but this is the eye mask. I mean the face mask, the face sheet mask. Well, it's actually a foil sheet mask. Um, purifies with charcoal powder. It's called the detoxifier. Yeah, so this is the de de detoxifier and then the eye mask or I got this, like E-Y-E -E, got this. These are cute. And I've been using the other stuff. So that mask that came in there, I actually just used that this, was it this morning? I did use it this morning actually. Um, but it's one of those like jelly masks where when you rub it on, it like rolls off your dead skin like it's an exfoliator. I'm not sure the signs behind it and it is kind of weird, but it works. I have this dark spot right here from the pimple I told y'all I picked and it bled a little bit and I covered it with a pimple patch. That's that's the uh, the ramifications of my actions right there. Um <laughs> I am going to put a dark spot patch on this once I'm done with the rest of my skincare. But I'm actually going to twist my hair right now. Just like twist the front and then leave the back out. Probably to find these curls on the top some kind of way. Because the texture on the top of my head, it don't be given. Like, it gives. Like, don't get me wrong. My hair gives. I love her. Love her. Do not want her to leave me any kind of way. Um, although it is just hair. And if something did happen, I would survive but I do love my hair I love the hair that's coming out of my head but the back of my hair like even that is not the most defined but this is also a four day old twist out um but like look at the curls that just hang out at the bottom like the camera isn't even really getting them like that but like my hair just clumps when I do twist outs and stuff, when I if I didn't do anything to it, the whole thing would look like this and be about that long. <laughs> um, but when I take care of it and style it, I haven't really tried a wash and go in a while. And I might do that at some point. I don't know. That'll probably be like a summer thing, maybe. I mean, there's a lot of like tutorials on YouTube for how to do a winter wash and go. Maybe I'll look into that. Who knows? But for now, I'm going to twist the front of my hair and then leave the back out. Probably put a scarf on it and finish the rest of my skincare. I don't think I'm going to stay on camera for all that because that was not the plan. I literally just came on here to show y'all these eye patches. So y'all will just see the results of what happens on my head whenever I pick up the camera again. <laughs> I meant to pop on here and show y'all how my hair turned out. Excuse my gum chewing. Um, <laughs> but... I meant to show y'all this morning, but I'm on my break right now, sitting in the car. But yeah, the two braids I put in the front, and then I just put it in a puff instead of having it down in the back. Because the top of my hair, like I showed y'all last night, it wasn't cooperating and still isn't. Like, it's just it just looks like cotton. <laughs> but the rest of it still has the little curls and stuff hanging out, so I ain't mad about it. But yeah, just wanted to show y'all the results real quick. I have to go back into work now. Boo. I'm home now in my Grinch onesie. Um, I recently re-downloaded TikTok. I have been off of TikTok since February of 2022. So almost a full year 
I deleted it because I couldn't stop scrolling and I felt like I was wasting my life away. But I'm back now and scroll significantly less. But I was just on there while I was in the bathroom. And this girl just cut her hair into a pixie cut. And it was like real cute to me. I'm not going to cut my hair. But this, like, I've been thinking about cutting my hair. Not into a pixie cut, I don't think. I think I want, if I did cut my hair, it would be a bob. Probably. Maybe. Probably a bob. I don't know. But like, you know something about cutting my hair is speaking to me i also want to color my hair so probably if i was gonna cut it i should probably color it first and then like have long colored hair and then if the hair is damaged i can cut it off because i was planning on cutting it anyway i don't know these are all just thoughts nothing is happening for real don't hold me to it don't expect to see it anytime soon but that it just really like she just looked real cute to me and i was like i could do that but I don't think I'm gonna do it. I, I'm learning to detach from my hair, but like this is also the longest and healthiest my hair has ever been, you know? And I take care of it myself. So whatever happens to it, it's gonna be me that does it. So I don't know, but I, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing with my evening. I thought about taking down my Christmas decorations but I don't think I have the patience to do that right now. Um, <laughs> because that also means putting everything away once I've taken it down. And I do not feel like rambling through the closet. I really was at work sitting here dreaming, sitting there dreaming about taking a nap. But my energy is back. So, uh, and that's usually how it goes. I want to nap while I'm at work. And then as soon as I get home, I don't want to nap anymore. I keep walking in my office. I don't know if I talked to you guys about this. I know I journaled about it, but like. Ever since I redid the like the small portion of my office that I did, I can't stop walking in here and like the little whiteboard thing right here. Every time I have an idea, which like I've already, because I also use it like a to-do list because there's like um, check boxes. I'm trying. I mean, I can show you my list. There's nothing that you can't see there. I'm just more so embarrassed about my handwriting. Um, <laughs> uh but I keep walking in here and every time I have an idea or something that I don't want to forget, um, I just run in here and write it on the whiteboard. And this room just has a whole new energy. Like it feels like, I don't know, it feels like an office. It feels clean, airy, open, like, which is what I would like my mind to feel like when I'm trying to, you know, be creative. I want a clear, open, airy mind for the ideas to flow through freely. Um, I'm just, I'm really in love with the way my office feels right now. Like, it's not done, but I, the feeling in here, top tier. The vibes are immaculate. <laughs> if y'all ever needed a vibe check of me, like, like what my energy is, you know? <laughs> I don't think it gets any more me than this. Like what? <laughs> it's it's really the uh the little the little uh flap up here. It's really that's really doing it for me. <laughs> this is my vibe. I kind of feel like a Teletubby to be honest, but I'm the Grinch, but I feel like a Teletubby. Uh what's the green one taking? Is it Dipsy? Oh, I'm dead. I'm Dipsy. Oh, <laughs> Tinky Winky. Dipsy. La la. Po. Teletubbies. Teletubbies. Say hello. Uh oh. <laughs> I told you it was a vibe check. It's the vibe. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. <clears throat> it's the next day. I know I still look like last night. I don't know if y'all saw me in my body last night. Y'all probably did during that goofy vibe check. <laughs> I was in a mood last night. <laughs> but now I'm in a mood this morning, but it's not a good one. I actually woke up late for work, even though I'm working from home. Um, I'm supposed to be online at... I just realized my computer's muted. Um, 
at eight o'clock. I woke up at 8.43 and today is Thursday. Every Thursday I run a meeting that's usually at nine o'clock, but thank goodness um, we got some updated information about what the meeting is usually on, which means I had to go back and redo some of the stuff for the meeting. Um, so that meant the meeting got postponed to 11, which is currently in 15 minutes and I don't have everything together yet, which is one of the reasons why I'm in a mood. Um, that, so woke up late, have to redo work I've already done and, uh, it's not done. <laughs> it's, I'm, I am struggling this morning, honestly. Um, I just had some coffee, um, I have energy now, but I still feel like tense, anxious, honestly. Um, it was already going to be a frazzled meeting because I was, I'm covering, I'm doing what the work I did, but I also have to cover the work for somebody else because he, they're out of office, which meant I had to change some of their stuff too. And that it's just, it's a lot. It is a whole lot going on with me right now. And I just wanted to pick up the camera and get it out. I, at first I was like, I want to journal, but like, I don't have time to sit here and journal. So talking is the next best thing. So here's my, my video diary of how I'm feeling this morning. Not great. N not great. Um, I look forward to this meeting being over. I, I still have most of the information available because I didn't have to change everything. But I am really, really trying to maintain my composure. Like the calm you're seeing on my face right now is, is not at all indicative of what my brain is doing. <laughs> my brain is going a million miles a minute right now and I'm really trying to quiet it so I can think rationally and fix these things in a rational order because it's very easy with what I'm doing because I'm a, I, I, I basically do like data analytics. Like that's what I went to school for. And that's what I, I do. I work, I'm currently working in the field that I went to school for. And it is so easy to throw off all of your results by making a simple mistake. So it's, you can't be frazzled when you're doing what I'm doing. So I'm really trying to hone my energy right now and focus on the things that I need to do in order to get the results that I need. But that is, it's not a simple task. Right now I'm sitting here right, waiting for uh, this R script. Uh, we, you R, I don't, if anybody is technically savvy, there's a, we, we use R um, for some of our like analytics and stuff. Um, I'm sitting here waiting for this script to run. I don't know when it's gonna be done. Hopefully within the next like five minutes so I can at least put the data in the file that I need, but <laughs> it's it's real hectic right now it is real hectic i know y'all haven't seen me i mean it's been a second for y'all but it's been like six hours for me and the last time you saw me i was kind of in shambles i am better now i just got out of the shower i got off work about mm, almost 40 minutes ago I'm in the middle of doing my skincare, but I wanted to follow up and let y'all know that the meeting, you know, it happened. <laughs> Was I as prepared as I typically am and like to be? No, but you know, there was nobody was angry. There were no, you know, people understood a because it was a hectic situation. It would have been a hectic situation regardless if I was on time and woke up on time. You know, it was understandable. It was really only like one small thing that was not done. And I just met with my supervisor after the meeting once I had it all together and we made the decision like one-on-one -on -one or whatever. So that was done. And it, I planned on coming to y'all sooner, like while I was still at my desk, but the work, the work day just kept on coming. So I had uh, another meeting after that. And then there's a step I have to do after the meeting that I typically have on Thursdays. So I had to take care of that. And that is relatively nerve wracking. I mean, it's not nerve wracking, it's just kind of tedious. Um, but I got it done. I am off work, I am free. I feel so much better now that I've taken a shower. Um, I did take, I just took my hair out of my bonnet. Like this is not styled. Um, this is just my hair in its natural 
whatever shape it's chosen to be in. Um, and natural hair hack, tip, whatever you want to call it. If you have hair, anything like mine, where if you know you don't manipulate it, it's just going to be stiff and sit wherever you put it. Um, steam your hair in the shower. So like when you shower, don't cover your hair. Let your hair steam because that's moisture. Like my hair feels so soft right now. I'm not gonna touch it because I don't wanna put hair goop on my face, but my hair, it feels so much better after it's been in steam um, when it's in its natural state. Obviously if my hair was straightened still, I would have had a shower cap on and avoided all forms of moisture. But in its natural state, your hair loves steam. And I learned that well, I've, I've been on that, like, from taking showers and steam, and knowing that steam is beneficial because they have, like, steam caps, steam treatments. Steam is good for your hair. Sorry, cleaning my ear. Um, I do both ears at the same time, so give me a second. And actually, another random tip. I clean my nose with Q-tips. Um, I don't, like, stick my finger in there or tissue in there or whatever because I feel like it's not stiff enough. And since I have nose rings, um... It is easier to like maneuver around and like clean near the openings of the nose ring with a Q-tip than it is with my finger. So I just kind of swirl around, you know? Sorry if that's TMI or if you didn't want to see me dig in my nose with a Q-tip, but just telling you, if you have nose rings, Q-tips are a lifesaver. Um, but yeah, I am definitely in better spirits. I'm glad to be off work. I think I'm gonna have a glass of wine with whatever I decide to eat. I also have not eaten today. Didn't even take a break actually, which uh, is technically like not not good like for my job. But uh, I didn't. I started work 45 minutes late, so and my break is usually an hour. So really, I did take a break. It just wasn't when it should have been or intentional. <laughs> um, but. I am thankfully at home, so it really didn't, like, it doesn't, it's not the same as me sitting at my desk in the office for eight hours straight. I was at home in my house. I had my phone and stuff with me, so, like, I did, like, pause and, like, scroll my phone, but I didn't actually get up and eat or leave the room, but that, that was just because I had so much to do when it was such a, like, a hectic day or whatever, but... I'm off, I'm going to eat, haven't quite decided what I will be eating, but I'm looking forward to it, whatever it is. Yeah, I just wanted to pop in and update you guys on the fact that I'm okay. <laughs> My anxiety chilled out after the meeting, obviously, because I was only anxious because of the meeting, but I am in a much better headspace. I actually have been was scrolling on Instagram quite a bit while I was at my desk, like, it like while I was doing things that required me to wait for something else to happen um and I just got lost in like Instagram reels and I saw so many things today that really made me think kind of like I because I told you guys I got back on TikTok and the reason that I left TikTok in the first part first place was because I scrolled too long but that was because the content was so tailored to me that I couldn't you know pull away because everything everything was something I was interested in everything was something even encouraging or thought provoking or whatever, you know? And now Instagram is kind of doing that. It's easier for me to step away from Instagram though, because there's a lot more like randomness. Like I'll see things, I'll be like, okay, well, that was nice. And now I'm, I'm done here. So I'm gonna close the app. I'll probably be back, but I'm gonna close it now and do what I need to do. It's a lot easier for me to pull myself away from Instagram than it was for TikTok because TikTok is just videos, um, but I can go back to my feed on, on Instagram and see things that are not moving, which are less likely to hold my attention for a long period of time. Um, and by not moving, I mean pictures, stills, <laughs> non-video content. It's just so many things, so many, and I have, I do have a second Instagram, like I have a personal Instagram and then I have an Instagram, I mean technically they're both personal, but I made one specifically to go along with my channel. And actually, if you want to follow me on there, uh, it's she talks a lot 24 seven, I believe is my Instagram name. Don't quote me on that. Whatever it really is, I'll put it on the screen, but I think it's she talks a lot 24 seven. Um, but yeah, uh, I send whatever I find on my personal Instagram that really speaks to me. I send it to 
the she talks a lot Instagram like so it's in my DM so I can come back to it instead of like bookmarking it or saving it because I'm a lot less likely to scroll through my bookmarks and saved things than I am to look at my messages almost forgot a step moisturized my entire face and forgot my lips and honestly I think I'm just gonna throw my bonnet back on because I'm in the house and don't plan on leaving the house so if you were ever interested in how I tie my hair up at night slash anytime I'm not being seen uh for this style I would use a scarf just because I have the braids and I don't want them like getting fuzzy or whatever so I just put the scarf on you know the typical way to wear a scarf it's a square scarf that I fold in half into a triangle and then just tie it in the front push it back off my skin you know because hair stuff can cause breakouts so I try not to have it too far on my skin unless I'm like actually laying my edges and don't plan on having it on very long but since I'm not taking this off uh slide it back off your skin and then I just throw my bonnet on top and that's it. I'm gonna go lubricate my body and put on something comfortable that makes me happy because I deserve it after today. Obviously I deserve it any day. You deserve to do things that make you happy regardless of what you went through during the day. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go do that. Eat, have a glass of wine, probably unwind, watch some YouTube. That's really all I watch. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I know I'm going to watch it. There's two specific videos I know I'm going to watch. Jayla Majette, Jay Majette on YouTube, she posted a a vlog, I think last night or sometime yesterday. Um, I didn't watch it last night because it's 50 minutes long and it was already like past my bedtime. So I, could, I didn't watch it last night out of self-control and discipline for myself. But there's that. And there was another video I saw. Oh, Arnell. Arnell Arm. Arnell Armand, she posted a, I think I get ready with me and that's like 40 minutes long. So I have some decent length content to enjoy while I enjoy a meal and a nice glass of wine. I will catch y'all, I don't know, maybe tomorrow, probably tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing. Tomorrow. Well, yeah, tomorrow's Friday. So maybe I'll leave the house when I get off work and you'll actually have something to see other than me in my house. I know this vlog's going to be real long because I keep coming in here just talking and not doing nothing, but... I'm proud of me. I just did something I haven't done in a very long time, which is made doctor's appointments. I made a lady doctor appointment and I made an eye doctor appointment. My eyeglass prescription expired almost two years ago, maybe two years ago. Obviously I can still see, but I'm sure my prescription has probably changed slightly because I can also see without my glasses. It's not it, like I'll end up with a headache at some point if I do it too long, but I can see without my glasses. And then as far as the lady doctor thing goes, I actually have a birth control implant the wrong arm it's in this arm can't see it and when you have that you're supposed to go every year and i did not go last year i was supposed to go in november i'm trying to think did i even go in 2021 i think i did i don't think it's been two years but it might have been no i think i went in 20 mm. i don't know i might not have <laughs> well i'm going now i set my appointment for the 31st of this month so in like three weeks and then my eye doctor appointment is on the 23rd of this month but I'm really proud of me for that I feel like an adult I didn't need my mommy to call for me <laughs> but I was just sitting here watching those two videos I said I was gonna you know watch when I was doing my skincare and stuff and it's just really inspiring to see other creators that I can somewhat identify with like we're similar in age uh similar in ethnicity um <laughs> Well, yeah, both, they're all, all black, included, and Kimberly Sherrell, I watched her video, uh, actually, while I was at work, I had it playing on my iPad, she, she just posted, like, a 2023, like, goals, and, like, the direction for her content for this year, and it's just so inspiring to hear people talk about how there's no, like, there's really no set way to do this like youtube and tiktok instagram all that there's no set way to do it like yes a lot of people do it the same way but that doesn't mean that you have to and i'm really looking forward to truly coming into my own with with my channel like i, I still want to get better at editing i have gotten better but there's still so many things that i want to do that I see in other people's content like not even to like jack swag or anything like it's just there's so many nuances and little things you can do to make your videos more interesting 
or more like entertaining even. And I know part of that is me needing to get a better editing software because right now I use iMovie because that's what I have. It, it came with the, the computer I purchased and the computer itself was an investment. That That's where I am right now and that has very limited capabilities. I don't know. I don't think you can add things to it, but I know with like other editing softwares, you can like add like packages or like features or, you know, there's different things you can add to make your video better, I guess, better, whatever better is for you, like whatever is more suited to you and can encapsulate your personality. Because you can show your personality through your editing, like not just through the, the person on like you talking to the camera or whatever. Like, yes, that is your personality or whatever, but the way you edit, the, the things you focus in on or add emphasis to, all of that changes the way your message is delivered, you know? And I really want to, to hone that, to figure out what my editing style is. Right now, I know I love a good jump cut, um, <laughs> but there, there's so many more things that could be done. So many effects, so many, so many things. Y'all are coming on this journey with me. This video is probably like 45 minutes and that's crazy. I mean, it's a weekly vlog, but I haven't done anything. I literally have done nothing in this vlog except for go, go to work and pick up a drive up order. That was it. <laughs> I haven't done anything in this vlog, but hopefully tomorrow and maybe Saturday, there'll be more to see. I know at some point I'm going to take down my Christmas decorations. I don't know if that's even entertaining, but maybe you guys can watch me do that. <laughs> it's 4.30. I'm off work and I'm leaving the house. Oh, I just made it very dark, didn't I? And this is what it's like when I get off work. It's dark because I don't inhabit the rest of my house when I'm at work. <sighs> Hold on. Let me close the blinds so I can turn the lights on. Anybody else's mom instilled that in them that like you have to close your blinds at night if you want to have lights on? Like <laughs> you can't just uh, have people looking in your home, which like I get it. I do get it. But like meticulous to a fault. Like they have, no. <laughs> if she pulls up and the blinds are open and the lights are on, you're going to hear about it. <laughs> but yeah. Um, what am I doing? I am about to go to the Habitat Humanity Restore. Logical smart me would probably wait till tomorrow to go because they close at 6. It is currently 4.30 and I haven't left the house yet. But I haven't left the house since Wednesday. It is now Friday. And I want to leave the house and that's where I want to go. And I think I'm going to go to Best Buy after that because I really want a microphone. Like, if I don't have a camera, I'm going to have a mic. I need a mic because I tried to record a voiceover for uh for my wash day video during vlogmas i have because i have a mic that i got from amazon and it is poo poo garbage not good <laughs> uh you could hardly hear anything i was saying so we are going to see if we can find a mic i do have ten dollars in rewards i have a best buy uh credit card um originally i didn't use it at all except for what i got it for which was my computer but then Hold on, will my phone balance right here? You're balanced on the faucet, don't fall. Um, but yeah, uh, now I do use it a little bit, like for gas, because you get rewards, you get 5% cash back for gas. So that's how I got the $10. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go see what they have to offer at Best, well, first at the Habitat for Humanity Restore, and then Best Buy. So I will. I will see y'all when I get in the car. I'm in the car now, but look at my windshield. Listen, do you see this? Let's well, see if the wipers will get it. Oh! Uh. Might have just damaged my windshield wipers. No, nah, I think they're okay. But I do have to get out and scrape. I am done in Best Buy. They had very limited selection of anything. I don't know if y'all could tell, but I was showing y'all the microphone selection. I was looking for a Yeti. I was going to invest in a Yeti mic, and they only had, because I wanted the small one, I don't need a giant one. 
and they they didn't even have it. Like it was on display, but they didn't have it on the shelf. So I got a little lavalier mic, a lapel mic, and hopefully I can still use that for voiceovers. I'll just have to hold it next to my mouth, which I don't mind doing. So we'll see. But now I think I'm gonna find me some food. Come on, I'm home. I couldn't even check in with y'all after I left the, the parking shop. Is that what it's called? Park, park to shop. The park to shop. Because when I walked in there, I know it's a, a supermarket and a food court. But when I tell you, I did not expect to walk out of there with this seafood boil. Man, I'm finna grub. Okay, I got the seafood boil. It's crab legs, mussels. Um, what else? It's something else in here. Crab legs, mussels, crawfish, corn, and potatoes. And I got the, the ultimate sauce, which I think is like lim lemon, pepper, garlic, something else. And then I got it medium. I didn't get it hot because I wanted to enjoy it, you know? Like, I don't, I like hot stuff, but it's a lot of food, so I want to be able to eat it, you know? But I am about to, oh, and you know, y'all saw, I think I showed y'all my, my little bubble tea. I haven't even busted it open yet because there's a little spot on top right here for you to stab your boba straw in. But I didn't want to do that yet because I don't know, the cup is just so cute. Like I almost want to keep it, even though I know I shouldn't because that would be me hoarding junk, which I do enough of already. <laughs> when I tell y'all that that seafood boil was banging and I still have leftovers. I did get too much food, to be honest with you, but it was so good and I'm glad I have more. Um, I ended up impromptu <laughs> recording a ASMR seafood boil mukbang, mukbang, however you say it. And that was really fun to record and I got to test out my new microphone and it works so well and I'm so excited. So... I'm going to post that as like sh uh, a YouTube short though. I'm not going to put that on as like a, a full video unless the short does well and people want to see uh, ASMR stuff. Honestly though, I wouldn't be opposed to starting an ASMR channel, but it would be separate from what I'm doing now. Like, because I, I know the people, like the, the few subscribers I have right now, they didn't come here to hear my hear, hear me chew. That's not, that's not what they came for. <laughs> But that, it was really fun. I enjoyed that. The food was good. The experience of recording myself eating was good. And it's funny because I stopped recording before I was done eating. And then I was watching the footage while I was eating. And it was, it, I was entertained. Is that weird? That I was entertained by watching myself eat? Because I, I, I like ASMR. I'm, I don't have a problem with mouth sounds, but I know a lot of people find that gross. But I'm not one of those people. <laughs> I just actually sat here and edited that video because I had to convert it from a landscape video to a portrait video so I could make it a short. So that's a new editing trick that I've now figured out. There's I have to do a lot of working around in iMovie to get that to work. But I got it to work. Oh, shoot. Dang, it's already after 10 o'clock. That's crazy. I'm not going to go to bed right now, though, because it's Friday and I don't have to be up in the morning. I can sleep in if I so choose. I'm looking forward to that. Only got on for two. Front of jigs, 
on the stage, it's a boy time to play I confess, I'm a flex, say they show some respect Get all A's so we can make sense of your life You wasn't pop, but I just put your shit in drive now Close, like that, no tomorrow I have not picked up the camera in Well, I haven't talked to the camera in over 24 hours Y'all saw me yesterday taking down my Christmas decorations But it is a new day. It's Sunday, the last day of, t of this week's vlog. Um, I am at Meyer to pick up some groceries, some things I need to make dinner tonight. And that'll actually be Wednesday's video, uh, the dinner I'm making. So if you would like to see me make some smothered chicken thighs, stay tuned for Wednesday's video. <laughs> But yeah, I'm about to run in here. Maybe I'll vlog a little while I'm in there. You never know. What happened to firm toothbrushes? Like 99% of them are soft and then there's like three medium options. Yeah, I might wanna stop in a Meyer, $9.99. And you literally get this entire variety pack of bags gallons quart sandwich and snack and they all open individually so you can just pull them out of each individual section that's to me a really good deal how many bags is that total 324 bags for ten dollars i'm back home now i've taken everything out of the bag so let me show you what i got all right so starting with the non-food items I've never used a scrub daddy before, but so many people rave about it. I thought I'd give it a try. I actually saw this in the checkout at Meyer, So we'll see how that does. I'm sure it'll be great. Some chip clips. I have been living in this apartment for over three months now and do not own a, a chip clip or a bag clip. Um, so needed these. Got, y'all saw these two in the store. Got some toothbrushes. Um, and then all of these storage bags that were a really good deal on sale for ten dollars for 324 bags i also got a veggie chopper so just your like push down chopper type thing and then i only had one seasoning because i did go in there with a list and this was the only seasoning that was on my list but anytime you send me into the seasoning aisle i am going to end up with more so i got some Sazon Completa, uh, Complete Seasoning by Badia. Another Badia seasoning, I got the white pepper, uh, some dill weed. Uh, there's more bodies here. So uh, rosemary, what else? Uh, garlic and parsley. Then I got the Meyer brand sage and some Lowry's garlic salt. And then we got a few frozen items here. So we have some pizza, some stuffed pizza bao buns. These looked interesting to me. I got the barbecue chicken. Then I got some frozen chicken vidalo. I've never tried this before, but it says it it says it's spicy, and I like spicy. So we'll see how that is. Then I got this Caesar's Kitchen gluten free cheese manicotti. I'm not too uh, focused on the fact that it's gluten-free, but more so the fact that it's vegetarian, meaning there's no red meat in it. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. And then I got this lasagna bowl, which has chicken in it. So I am looking forward to that as well. Then I got these from the Christmas clearance. I got a hot chocolate bomb and then these little stirrers, um, because I still plan on drinking hot chocolate and stuff even though Christmas is over. That's not just a Christmas thing. I did grab two bottles of wine. These are both on sale. I had never heard of this one though, the Midnight Dark Red Blend. I, I have a feeling it might be a little strong for my taste because I usually like a sweet red wine, which is what this is, a sweet red. Um, I also got some chicken bouillon. This is for dinner tonight. These potatoes also I'm gonna make mashed potatoes with these and then I got some top ramen soy sauce flavor I had never seen these and a lot of times I like just soy sauce on my pasta like I'll make pasta and just put soy sauce on it so this ought to be good I got some minced garlic uh, in olive oil I got two bags of frozen cut green beans Two bags of cheese, Colby Jack, and then Mexican four cheese. Some half and half. 
some lime juice, some butter, an onion. Oh, and another non-food item. I did get some laundry detergent. Yeah, that's everything I got from Meyer. Um, I think I'm going to get ready and start cooking. I'm not going to, obviously I won't be filming that for the vlog, but I am filming a regular video. So stay tuned for Wednesday's video. And then I'll catch y'all probably when I'm sitting down to maybe eat or probably edit because once I finish uploading this footage that I'm filming right now, the vlog will basically be done, but I just will have to close it up. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Everything I do, I do it with a passion. If I gotta be a bitch, I'ma be a bad one. I'm AI with the designs do rag. Bounce back, game good while we talk and practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull up score when I want to. Best thing that's to have. They be trying to count me out, though. I'm just kind of, kind of It's the end of the night. I'm about to finish importing all my vlog footage so that this video can go up tomorrow morning i did film the cooking video and i ate dinner it was amazing i made smothered chicken mashed potatoes and green beans i probably ate <clears throat> excuse me i probably ate too much but i'm not mad about it because it was delicious and it was home cooked and it was exactly what i was craving so and then you guys saw me clean up my kitchen. My kitchen definitely was a wreck after I did all that cooking. I had so many dishes, which is why I ate off of a paper plate because I didn't need one more dish. I had more than enough dishes. <laughs> but yeah, my kitchen is clean. My laundry is done. It is not folded and it is late. It's like almost 10.30. So I don't mm. So my phone just told me that it's dying. Um, but yeah. Uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed spending the week with me. And I will see y'all next Monday. Love y'all. Peace.